Okay, so this is the last step of the protocol. This is after you have already removed the PBS the last time. Um, so remember you want to um, do this relatively quickly because you don't want your slides to dry out. So our first step is removing this plastic gasket and to do that you just hold on to the slide and gently peel that off. You don't need this part anymore so that goes away. So before you can mount the cover slip you need to get rid of this um, glue that was holding on the plastic chamber. So there's a number of ways that you can do this. Um, at your bench, you're gonna have some razor blades. So one option is to cut the glue and then remove it with tweezers. Um, another way you can do it is like this. So if you take a yellow pipette tip and aim it towards one of the corners. That will help you pick up part of the glue and then with your tweezers you can pull that off So once you're able to pick up a piece of it, you can just peel this off the rest of the way. Okay, so now this part is gone. All right, so now we are almost ready to put the cover slip on. The last thing you wanna do is blot off any excess liquid. So you can do that just by tapping the slide on a chem wipe. You see how some of it is coming off. Just let this happen by capillary action. Don't do this because you don't want to wipe your cells off. Okay. Now we're going to add our mounting medium. So this has um, a reagent in it that's going to keep your floor floors from uh, quenching as easily. And it also has our last stain, DAPI, which is blue and it's going to bind to the minor groove of DNA. So this is going to help us see the chromosomes. So this comes out as a dropper, so you want to do one drop per well. One, two, three, four. Okay, notice how I did that all on one side. And the cover slips we're going to be using are these long ones. So if you put it on this side, the same side you put the drops of the mounting media, it'll reduce the amount of bubbles that you get. Okay. All right, so as you can see, I still I have some bubbles, so a way to get rid of that is again, take a pipette tip and just sort of press it down and the bubbles will move to the side. The very last step is to seal the cover slip onto the slide. So you do that with nail polish. So you just need a tiny amount of nail polish. So wipe off the edge of the brush on the mouth of the nail polish so you don't get big dribbles. And then just make a small line right on the edge of the cover slip. And that's it. So just let the nail polish dry for about a minute and then give this to your instructor and you are all done.